In today's digital world, access to an enormous amount of information is relatively quick and easy, but it can be quite challenging to determine the quality of information available on the web. In this e-learning segment, we'll go over a method for evaluating online information called the CRAP test. The CRAP method was developed by a librarian at California State University, Chico. CRAP is an acronym for currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. The CRAP test contains a list of questions or criteria that can help us determine the quality of information we find online. For currency, we're looking at the timeliness of the information, such as the date of publication or when the information was posted online. Is the information up to date? Even if the information has not changed for some time, the information should still be reviewed and the review date should be displayed. Do we need the latest information? This would depend on the topic of interest. If we're looking for clinical practice guidelines for a particular condition, for instance, then more likely we'll need current information. However, if we're searching for historical background about a specific disease, then older information might just be what we need. And, do the hyperlinks on the website or online files we're evaluating work? Broken links may indicate that the information being presented may not be kept up to date. For relevance, the first question to ask is if the website or online information is related to our topic of interest. Who is the intended audience? Are we part of that target audience? Is the information written and presented at an appropriate level? And have we looked at other websites or sources before deciding to use the information presented? Next is A for authority, which refers to the source of the information. Typically on a website, there's an about page where we can find out who the author is or the organization that's presenting the information. It is valuable to know the author's credentials or the organization's affiliations to determine their expertise and qualifications to write about the topic. Is there contact information? Sometimes we can find this on the About page or a separate contact section of the website. And we can also look at the domain extension of the website's URL or web address. That might give us additional information about the publisher or source of the information. For instance, a web address ending in .gov is the domain extension for U.S.-based government organizations, while .edu is for educational institutions. The second A of the CRAAP test is accuracy, which relates to the reliability, truthfulness, and correctness of the content. Where is the information coming from? Is this a primary source or a secondary source? Is the information supported by evidence? Has the information been peer-reviewed or refereed? Are we able to verify the information in another source or from personal knowledge? Is the overall tone of the information presented unbiased? And as part of accuracy, is the information presented in a professional manner, free from spelling, grammatical, or typographical errors? And P stands for purpose. What is the objective of the information? Is it to inform, teach, sell, entertain, or persuade? Is the purpose clear? Some of these details may be found in the About page of a website, perhaps presented as an organization's mission, vision, and or objective. Is the information fact, opinion, or propaganda? Is the information presented in a way that is objective? And are there biases? We can use the CRAP questions to determine the value and reliability of what we find on the web. Using the CRAP test gives us a way to methodically evaluate information online and on other media as well. Next time you find yourself evaluating the overall quality of information presented to you, think CRAP.